Hi, and welcome back to our uh, Let's Play of Tim, Jim, and Tommy. Here are our main characters, uh, Flying in Space, and Tim, Jim, and Slim, Jim, are, this is the demo, this, these two dudes are the coolest people on the, on the Super Nintendo, they really, had to come up with some creative ideas. I'll put, I'll put it on. I'll put on little kid mode, so we don't have to face the horrors of adulthood so early in the game. Now I'm, I'm shaking. Everybody loves presents, and Nintendo thought it was a very, very good idea to put presents all throughout this game. So it kind of felt like those kids who, or the Jewish kids who have Hanukkah and the other people that they just didn't get this game on Christmas when they wanted it. But when they finally did get it, it feels like they, they're getting a lot more presents. Something else, he's getting hit with tires too, but but I just missed that one. <laughs> so, tough break, Nintendo. Can't hit me with every tire you throw at me. I'm not sure what I'm... Yeah, that that's pretty freaky. I wouldn't put the... I don't know how this game is for kids. Uh, but this this part is just fantastic. You can you can bounce on that squishy thing and... And capture Earthlings. This game has a theme that Earthlings are... Are very, very full of sin. Very sinful. And... They kick you in the shit. But you have to prevail. You are basically the religious savior of Funkatron, and you capture Earthlings. And there's a, a parking meter that takes you on an acid trip, and you, there's more presents in here. This game is riddled with presents. Uh, I, I'm not sure what I'm doing now. Oh, looks like I'm going back to the real world. That's okay. The real world on Funkatron is just absolutely beautiful. Now, they, Nintendo strategically placed that platform so high that you have to use the trampoline sponge to jump on it. But it's not so easy. Even for little kid mode, it's not that easy. When I don't know how that human got up there, but she's in, in a jar. And then you get, if you press some buttons, you're just bound to have a very weird time in this game. There's just doors that lead to nowhere, and it's simply a disturbing thing to. I, I really I, I don't understand this game. Okay, and, and we. We see our uh, heroine, Slim Jim. Just I, I I didn't heed those warnings, but the sign right there, I saw that sign. It's 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 very hard to. to I don't even know, but there's presents everywhere. It just makes like you're feeling this game, like you're playing it on Christmas, Christmas Day, where you eat an omelet, an egg omelet with maybe some ham and, and a delicious slice of bacon. But here are, he's just, he, he'll, he'll go through the entire Funkatron planet to stop the evil forces of the sinful nature of humans. It's just, it's a beautiful thing really if you think about it. Presents, they're everywhere. And water. This proves that water exists on other planets. So, we should really call up NASA and tell them this new game, this new Nintendo game, has figured out all, all, all the scientific facts of, of our solar system. And there's grapes made out of trees, too. This, this is a strange... A uh, friend of yours who likes to dance. He, he asks you to copy him, but 
as you can see, I don't like copying people. I like to be my own, uh, my own person. I don't conform. I, I, I boom and I clap and I shock up. He calls us lame. That's okay. I'm not lame, according to me. I'm my own person. I just, and he calls us lame again. Well, that's fine. We think he is lame. Now, we get to the end of the level where we throw our uh, trash. It's trash day and it's going to Earth, which possibly promotes uh, anti-Earth Day uh, views, but Nintendo put them very subtly in this game, and it was passed by the ESRB, it shouldn't have been, and here he goes into space again, and I paused the game just, just for a brief second, and that's all we have for now. See you next time.